when talking about specific types of swimming, and there's so many different kinds, we really try to think about how we can develop power in the water. And, and water really brings with it a very unique uh, problem in that the more you pull or the harder you pull against the water, the faster the water gets out of your way. Because of that, it's very difficult to build power and strength in the water. The ergometer does a great job because it allows us to build strength in the exact movements that the swimmer's arms, we want them to, to make in the water. Whereas in the water, it's going to take forever to build the same strength. It takes a lot of hours, a lot of lengths, and a lot of work. Whereas on the ergometer, we can, we can really get to the same strength uh, and endurance points in about half the time. If your technique isn't right, it doesn't matter how strong you are, you're really not going to be that good of a swimmer. Because of swim teams and the way they work, coaches have a really difficult time of watching all the technique. You have 30 kids in the water, and all the problems with technique really occur below the surface, which are hard for coaches to see. The ergometer does a great job of allowing the coaches and the swimmers a unique opportunity to actually talk during the training, this during swim practice. The design of the ergometer with the center rail allows the swimmer to see whether or not their hands are crossing over the center line so their technique is more correct. And if they're dropping their elbow, the coach can very easily say to them, you're dropping your elbow, let's focus on that and correct it as soon as possible.